Yeah, well, buying, buying at MySQL has been a lot of fun. Um, you know, they're a company we've liked for a long time. They've got a product that's that's really popular and really, really solid. And I guess for me, one of the things that works the best is that the culture of the companies work work together really well. I mean, we're we're both you know very heavily open source. Um, you know, we've got these distributed engineering teams, and you know we're you know pretty collaborative. We um, yeah, it, it feels like 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 things like Salesforce is fit and all the rest of it, um, and you know all the different technologies that we have about, around you know everything from from Solaris to Glassfish um, are all sort of good fits for uh, for MySQL. So yeah, we're going to have a good time. Um, it's hard to know exactly where it's going to go because it's always turbulent out there, but much of the turbulence um, is going to be entertaining. And certainly this has got to, got to kind of open some people's eyes in the, in the database market and, and we're looking forward to some entertainment there. Um, I don't know, I like fireworks. Uh, what's going to happen with, with Postgres? Um, you know, the Postgres guys will probably sail on with what they're doing right now. Um, we really haven't planned most of that. You know, we expect, you know, our involvement to be stable. Um, yeah, we, you know, it's, you know, one of these things that hasn't really been, been worked through, but I, uh, I, would, I, I would be surprised if anything really changed. We support a lot of databases. I mean, the, the hardware we, we build is a really great, you know, the hardware we build is a great platform for a lot of databases. And, you know, we put a lot of energy into supporting all of them. I would agree with the pretty good fit and all that that's already been said a couple of times. And, like, Sun doesn't have a database, or Sun has many databases, so there's no conflict of interest that some potential buyers could have. And it's... We'll see how it works out, but it looks damn good. So it's a, it's a continuation of what has been happening the last like 15 years, instead of a huge change. So it's hopefully going in the same direction, but even faster. I'm uh, uh, Monty, uh, the original creator of uh, MySQL. And what kind of jet are you planning to buy now that you're... Uh super rich and you can sneer it on your nose at Bill Gates and the other poor people like us. A yeah, little, little small one uh, that is so light as possible. <laughs> and uh, Brian Aker. Hey, he used to work uh, on yeah, uh, yeah. Amazon, in fact. In yeah. And uh, how about you? What kind of jet are you buying? Uh, I don't really think I can buy a jet, though I hear I can build small rockets and maybe somehow uh, uh, do something with, say, uh, let's uh, drop seeds on Venus or something. I don't know. That no jet. That is very cool. Terraform Venus. I'm far more into terraforming Venus than I would be to actually uh, buy a jet. <laughs> so now, um, how does it feel to be part of Sun? Actually, I see this as an opportunity. I want to uh, know I, we can do more than before. Okay. I mean, we, we started all this because, uh, not for the money, but because of the ride. And the ride just got in more interesting and more wild. And that's good. No, I remember when you were doing this, and uh, you and David and the other interviewee, uh, mm. when you guys had no money and were like hustling plane fare for New York, and none of us had gray hair even. Mm. Yeah. So you've come yeah. a long way as we met, what, 10 years ago? Yeah, so a couple of gray hair, yes. And I'd like to thank you because the sites I work on for a living, and also my personal sites, run on what database? MySQL. Yes, they do. Mm. So, Brian. Yeah. How's the change to Sun going to be for you? Uh, I have no idea, of course. Um, I've used, uh, I've been using Sun hardware for, oh God, so somewhere back in the, the end of the 80s. So I actually really like Sun stuff. I've always had Sun stuff. Um, you know, I obviously don't have a Sun laptop, but server-wise, it's a good platform. Are we going to have to stay instead of LAMP stack, are we going to have to say OSAMP? OSAMP? Sure, why not? I, for Open Solaris. Yeah, 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 Open Solaris. Or is it SAMP then? Solaris. Yeah, they propagate the Mars. Oh. Uh, MySQL, Apache, uh, uh, Rails, and uh, Solaris. Oh, okay. Which is a good acronym. So Mars. Mars. Yeah, yeah, I like Monty's idea. Let's then, call it then Mars. Then why were you talking about terraforming Venus? 
<laughs> See, there's always a rebel. It's a lot better than that. But no, I actually think it's pretty exciting. Um, if you think about it, um, it gives us a, it, of course, you know, for engineers, it, uh, of course, we all hope for more hardware out of this. Um, so, you know, that's always the thing. Last time I worked for a hardware company, they shipped me lots of free hardware. Ooh. And, uh... Gee, you got any openings? No, yeah. I have all the hardware I need. No, so that's actually, uh, good. If you look at what Sun's been doing with their T1000, T2000 hardware, mm -hmm. um, if you look at the amount of just sheer Linux, uh, Linux servers today running on their Intel platforms, um, thanks to, like, the ALOM and so forth pieces that they've been shipping on those boxes, so... I think it's actually good for MySQL. I think it's actually good for Linux. And I think it's, in general, I mean, MySQL has always had a very strong open source culture. And I would like to see that our DNA for that culture, we can hopefully inject that into Sun and, you know, basically speed up Sun's own adoption that they're already well, well into the progress, you know, process of doing as far as being an open source company. Well, one thing that uh, James Bosling was telling me earlier, and I want to get your take on this. Yeah. Um, Josh and the Postgres people and Sun. What happens? I don't even know which one of you should. Josh, uh, Josh sent me a nice piece of email uh, welcoming to the to the uh, company this morning. So uh, no, that's all good and dandy. I mean, if you look at it, MySQL and Postgres don't really. I've never really thought they established necessarily in the same areas. Postgres mm -hmm. tends to be used for things that we are not necessarily good at, and we're used for a lot of things that they're not good at. So I don't really see it much of an issue. If you think about it, what Sun has merely done is the same way MySQL has multiple storage engines, they now have multiple databases, and they can cover a, a larger area of existence within the market. So I think it's very good. And with Postgres, uh, we have always had, at least since... Uh, 2000 have a really good relationships with all, all the core uh, Postgres developers. Mm -hmm. We have dinners, we are drinking together, we have fun. Now we can have uh, even more reasons to have fun because some of us are working in the same company. Well, I, I've always seen it as not being one of those evil rivalries, but it's been more, you know, just friendly back and forth. Yeah. You know, because I know obviously the friends with people and yeah. both groups. Yeah. So, uh, are you going to be? Um, think you'll, you'll still be working in similar role with Sun? I don't know my role, but uh, I want to drive open source and ensure that uh, uh, we could get a better word by having better software for free. Okay, and uh, one other thing. Now, governments and uh, big um, financial type companies, where, you know, MySQL maybe, well, you know, we all know it's great. People like me use it, very happy, but will Sun help there? Oh, I think that's obvious. If you take the the Salesforce Sun already has and you combine that with our Salesforce as far as where they should, the accounts they should be able to access both, you know, both, both ways in this is going to actually do a lot of good for both Sun and MySQL. Expect the unexpected. <laughs> <laughs>